Okay, now let's add control. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add join numbers to each one of the items. And to make it really easy, I'm going to click on this particular icon, which is the digital join click assign tool. Once I do that, I'll be given a window that allows me, just a dialog box that allows me to select how I want these joins to be implemented. Uh, start at the selected join. Always use the selected join or enter a custom join on each click. Well, for now, I'm going to select always use the selected join, which is going to be number one. And what I'm going to do now, I'll click OK, is I'm going to give serial join numbers to these text boxes of one, 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 and one, and then also to these sliders. So you'll notice the one change down here for each one of them. Now that I've done that, I want to start off with my buttons. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to go back to the to the arrow tool and then once again select the digital join tool and now I want to start at the selected join and I'm going to start at join number 10. And the reason I'm selecting these particular join numbers is because the code that is implemented here uh, and System Manager is set up for these particular join numbers and you'll see why in a minute. So the selected join is number 10. So it's going to start at 10 and increment from that point. So let's click OK. And notice this mute button is already at 1. So I'll click on it. It changes to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, now we have all of our digital joins. Now what I'm going to do is assign the analog joins for these slider values. So let's go to the analog join tool. And I want to start these at 19. So I'll click OK. And let's go 19, 20, 21, and 22. So you'll notice that I have a serial join of 1 and an analog join of number 19. Now, also, uh, I want to give serial values to these uh, text windows as well. So let's go back to the serial join tool now. And I'm going to start at 19 again. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click 19. 20, 21, and 22, and I selected that just so that I know that this particular serial value that's coming into the text window is going to also come in, uh, just kind of be in sync uh, with the analog value of 19, and only for reference. Uh, as I move this slider, uh, it doesn't really care where it puts the text value, but I keep them just so I can keep the reference in my own mind. One other thing that we can do is let's go back to the arrow tool. I'll double click on the text box and I can change the text value to zero. And the other thing I'd like to do is the format. I want the format to be numbers and punctuation. So let's do that for all of them. And now when you start up the the uh, iPad instead of having text in the window we'll have a real value of zero before it actually grabs the value from the Aspen box. And let's make this zero as well. Number punctuation. And last one. And number and, punctu number and punctuation again. We click OK. And now we're done. Now we can do an upload. This particular upload will allow you to move the sliders and toggle the mute button since we added simulation to those. The other buttons do not have simulation. So if you want to try that first, go ahead just to have a look. And now we'll add some control aspects in the next video.